We're in the middle of the flu season. New Jersey's mandating flu vaccine for a lot of the kids. New York is highly recommending from six months now up to age 18. Uh, should you get a flu shot? I believe everybody should get a flu shot. Clearly, the recommendations that have come from the Center of Disease Control and the, and the um, and vaccine uh, programs is that all patients between, and all children between the ages of six months and 18 years should get a flu vaccine and some states are actually mandating that before they're allowed to enter school on a year-over-year -year basis. They've mandated this because we've learned that influenza, first, is a very serious virus. It's the most common vaccine-preventable virus in our population, and it's responsible for more deaths every year than any other vaccine-preventable virus. About 36,000, I think, last year. Yep, about 36,000, uh, and it is certainly a number that is a concern. And the, the bottom line is that this infection is transmitted through our population, through our children. It's been shown over and over again that if you prevent children from getting the vaccine by vaccinating them, you prevent parents and grandparents and the rest of the population from having an epidemic of this infection. The end of the flu season last year was some cases where people... I mean, some children died, and they told they had MRSA, that resistant staph, and flu at the same time. Is that true? It is true. What we've learned is that influenza affects both the structure of the lung and the immune system in a way that allows secondary infections to occur. And in the most recent flu season, infection with MRSA, a resistant type of staph aureus bacteria, actually occurred in, in addition to the influenza infection. And it's this combination infection that was most likely the cause of many of the deaths that we saw.